Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video, 2E0 IQJ. So today we're testing the Kenwood VC-H1 uh, Visual Commander which allows us to send and receive pictures, SSTV pictures, across the airways with a suitable handheld. So what I'll do, I'll do an unboxing, show I'll go in the box, do a little overview and then we'll go out and about, test some photographs and attempt to uh, transmit them and receive them across the airways. Okay, in the box we have the power cable have a carry strap which I don't ever think has been used you have the data cable and this end here plugs into the radio and this end here looks like an old school phone charger plugs into the unit itself and this is the actual unit the Kenwood VC-H1 i also got the instructions and they're in the A4 printed paper so he's obviously downloaded the PDF and printed it which was nice fast FM light, TX, RX, MR and hold Got a COM port there, so you can pull the images off, but um, it's going to be a serial port, none of this USB rubbish. I haven't got that, and uh, don't think it'll work on Linux. There's the video out. Side here, you've got an S button which activates the camera, a PTT switch, your on off switch, there's your data connection to plug in that cable, and there's the power connection, and the camera can be turned round. So you can take a photograph like that, or like that. And when you turn it on, if you hold down RX and MR, you can input your call sign. So when you transmit a picture, your call sign comes across it. You can easily switch that off. So let's turn the unit on itself. See there's an image that's come up. If I press S on the side, you see it's activated the camera. There's me, lovely. Let's turn the camera around. There we go. I think my unit might need a bit of a clean up or grow on the camera because you saw them lines coming on there. And it says it needs a Kenwood radio. But I don't have a camera in the radio, so I'm going to be using a box standard bio thing. So that works just that works good enough. So what we do, go out and take some pictures, then I'll attempt to receive them using the computer. So the computer program I'll be using will be QSS TV for Linux. So we're going to get some pictures and then try and send them across the airways. Okay, so the radio is currently sitting there on 144525. We've got the cable plugged into the communicator. And all we're going to do is press MR to review an, uh, view an image. Press it again. There's a tree there. And all I'm going to literally do is push the TX button. And what that's now going to do is TX the radio. So it's TXing across the airways and hopefully the computer is receiving our image. See what's doing on the screen there. There is a line going down the screen that tells you how far it's got. We should probably see in a sec. There you go, and it's almost done, just over halfway. The bottom there is my call sign. You can switch that off if you like, but I'll leave it on there. There we go, that's just transmitted that picture across the airways, and when it's finished, Stops the radio from TXing. Lovely. Okay, the unit's turned on, it's in RX mode. The cable's connected to the radio, and they're sitting now on 144525. So, what we're going to do now is get an image transmitted across the airways, and this thing will play the tone for the first second or so, then it'll mute the audio, and then towards the end of it, you'll hear the tone again. You can set it so you can hear the audio. But I haven't done that, I want to leave it as default. So let's try and call Robert and see if we can transmit an audio uh, image. 2E0 IQJ, 2E0 WUV. Could you please transmit the image, Robert? Yes, yes, I will do that again then. Okay. There you go, it didn't come through. So give it. That's why. Frequency mode. Two, one. We should start seeing images come through. 
I had the radio turned off. Okay. There is an image coming through. Marvellous. And that other one you're seeing with the stars and the map and whatever, that's a previous image that was received. So now we've got a Lawrence Penguin. As he knows I'm a Linux fan. There we go, we've received the image. Lovely. Right, that is it for this week's video. We took a look at the Kenwood VC-H1 unit, which allows us to transmit SSTV pictures across the airways. You can take them with the camera top and then transmit it across. Input your call sign and have your call sign on the screen there. I'd like to say thank you very much for watching this video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, that button seems to work too. But as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. 2E0 IQJ73.